All right, y'all. Oh, uh, hold on. This is going to be, I'm, this is actively research at the moment. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. They sent me, they sent me this video. They said, Nick, you heard about them Christian BBLs. I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? You need to repent. A Christian BBL. Hold on. She said, I got a Christian BBL. Full story. You got a Christian BBL. Hold on. For those of you who may not know what a BBL is, I believe it stands for Brazilian butt lift. Well, actually, I, I, I know it stands for Brazilian butt lift. I'm acting like I don't know what it is. I know what it is. Uh, Hold on. Let me change something real quick. Hold on. Let me change my uh, transition real quick. Okay, cool. Um, I, I don't know who this is. Sophology. Um, apparently a Christian woman. I mean, I don't got to scroll too far to kind of see what it is, if you know what I mean. Um, but l let's just watch this video and then let's try to figure out w what the heck is going on here with this Christian BBO. Hey guys. So yes, apparently, as you have heard, I am the first girl ever to get a Christian BBL. A lot of people have been asking me what a Christian BBL is. I have a YouTube video up about it, but people would rather be loud and wrong. So here I am to compress basically how I got my Christian BBL and what exactly that even is. I get the YouTube vlogs are not for everyone. I only watch a few YouTubers myself. By the way, my name is Sophieology. So what is a Christian BBL and how did I end up getting mine? Okay, so I booked my surgery with Dr. Jung in Houston. I'm not sure if he's a Christian. I never asked him. It wasn't relevant to my surgery. But anyways, I'm sure God was there because God never leaves me. Everyone has called my procedure a BBL, so I call it that now too. But if we're being specific, I specifically got lipo 360 and fat transferred to my hips. If I sound aggravated, it's been a long day. But anyways, I decided that instead of getting the surgery and keeping it hush, hush, it would be nice to let my followers know I got this surgery because I'm honest. I've lost 40 pounds this year. And I also have a reputation on YouTube for weight loss, self-care, beauty influencing, you name it. So being transparent is kind of important. And I'm here for the girls. I knew not everyone would be happy about my choice to get my body done because arguably I had a nice body before. And I'm not supposed to change how God made me or whatever, but I did. And I chose to be honest about it. So I share my Wait, wait! You're not supposed to change how God made you. You admitted it. That was going to be one of my points coming into this video. You're not supposed to change how God made you, but you did. So why are you calling it a Christian BBL as if God told you to get a BBL? God ain't tell you to... Hold on. Wait! <laughs> what the heck is going on here? What is going on? Hold on. Okay, let's just go. YouTube, right? Just a regular BBL vlog. And I was met with more backlash than I expected. Like... I was being dragged. My family was so upset and worried for my mental health. Like, it was crazy. And I know I got Christian, Christian followers, but to be dragged like that is crazy. I was disgusted by the way some people were talking to me. And if you know me in real life, I don't tolerate such rubbish. You're not gonna bully me and I keep quiet in the name of, I'm an influencer. If I have time, I'm a clap back. Never was I- I hate the term, like, influencer. Like, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I just don't, I don't, I just, I don't like it. People ask like what I do. I just tell them, I'm like, I'm in media. Like, I don't like the term like influencer. I don't, I don't know. Can't, listen, Sophie, Sophie, let me just say this. Sophie, you're a good looking girl, Sophie. All right. You don't got to do all these things to enhance yourself, to make yourself, you know, quote unquote, more attractive. And honestly, a lot of men I'm speaking for myself, but I'm also speaking for a lot of men that I know because I got a lot of homies, right? They ain't into that BBL look. They not, they not, they not into it, right? And look, women, y'all are, y'all, y'all, y'all do so much. Y'all hold it down. Y'all hold it down. Y'all are, are the rib, right? Y'all the helpmate. I understand sometimes you feel like, you know, you're not enough physically because there's such demanding standards and these beauty standards keep changing and what used to be attractive and, you know, sexy is no longer attractive and sexy and whatever. It's all subjective anyway. 
But you're not going to sit here and, 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 and imply that God told you to get a BBL, that God told you to cut and carve and, 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 and suck and, and, and read, apply the fat. And, and you're not going to sit here and tell me that God told you to do that. Because God ain't tell you to do that. And I don't. Hold on. I'm tripping. Let me just finish this plastic surgery or saying it's right in God's eyes. I was just being honest and sharing my experience to my followers. I think it's the Nigerian in me that can be dramatic at times. Like it's very Nigerian to be sarcastic when you're insulting people. And when you mix sarcasm and dramatization, you basically have a recipe for what happened yesterday. So I decided, you know what, as much as I love having a Christian audience or whatever, I don't want the judgmental ones who speak to me out the side of their neck as if they're perfect or holier than everybody else. I want the girls and guys that are humble and know that a walk with God is not spotless. The only perfect example of a person is Jesus. Okay, why and you got to be flashing your cleavage? See, this is what I said. And I'm not trying to be too judgmental. But I told y'all when I pulled up the, the TikTok, I already knew what it was just based on what I'm seeing on TikTok. And now you sit over here flashing cleavage, talking about you got all these Christian followers. Why are you trying to cause these people to stumble and fall? It don't gotta be about it don't gotta be about this or the hips or the back. You know what I'm saying? It don't gotta be about that. It's about the spirit of God that lives inside of you. And that spirit of God changing you and molding you. To be perfect according to God, not according to the standards of this world. You, you're, you're, you're trying to chase perfection from a physical standpoint. You'll never get there. You'll never achieve it. But you can achieve perfection in Christ. And I'm not saying that you're not going to make mistakes, that you're not going to stumble and fall. But I'm saying that you could submit to Christ and that you could be all that God has called you to be. And not try to be this, you know, woman out here, you know, with the, you know, the, the, the cleavage and with the hips and with the back and with the, you know, like. And especially somebody you have such a and I haven't even finished this video, but you have such a big platform on YouTube, although I've never heard of you. No disrespect. No disrespect. A lot of people never heard of me. Like I ain't tripping. I, I didn't mean that as disrespect. I'm just saying, you know, I never heard of you, but you have such a large community on YouTube, on social media. Why we got to go in this direction, in this sexual direction? Like, I I don't know. Let me just finish this. I can't. I'm trying to. Let's just listen. Let's just get to the bottom of this story. Let's get to the bottom of the story. I'm going to put all my judgment aside. I'm, I'm going to try to put all the jokes aside. Let's just get to the bottom of the story. Is it necessary to remind people that the God I serve still loves you even when you do things he told you not to do? God knows we sin, guys. As much as he's powerful and just, he's also merciful and loving. Also, my personal walk with God is nobody's business as well. So I clap back to the dragging. I posted on my YouTube channel yesterday, but I wanted to make sure I targeted the right audience when I posted. Like, I wanted to grab these judgmental Christians by their pubic hairs and drag them. Okay. I see what's going on here. I get it. I get it. I get it. I see what's going on here. I see. My channel for good. So I knew exactly how to make sure they wouldn't miss this video. I knew exactly what would make them show up right on time for insults. I titled my video very sarcastically, as you guys have seen now, and that is how I got a Christian BBL. Because I knew my intentions, I literally saw no issue, but of course, social media got a hand of it, and that was it. I knew it would cause trouble on YouTube. Oh, for sure. But I had no idea it would cross all social media from TikTok to Twitter or X, or be trending Ah, like it was, it was never my intention to make fun of God in any way. Never. I get fear. I get sense. But I got mad. And that's what happens when you throw hands with your haters and it gets out of control. Unfortunately, honestly, without context, it looks very bad. But what's the context then, ma'am? Thankful to God for turning yet 
another ugly situation for me in my favor. I'm glad it has people talking about God in general. How often do you see young people talking about God and standing up for God like this? Come on. All the time. If you like, continue to drag me, Sha. I don't care. <laughs> God knows my intentions were pure and my BBL isn't following me to heaven, unfortunately. I've got to leave it behind me. <laughs> okay, she didn't even say why she got it. She didn't even explain it. She didn't she didn't explain why she why she titled it uh Christian BBL. Let me see am I let me see what I missed here. I'm trying to figure this out in the most concise way possible without watching Hey a, guys. Whoa 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 whoa. Chill out. I'm trying to figure this out in the most concise way possible without watching a 30 minute vlog about or I think I Am I gonna have to watch a 30 minute vlog here? Honey blonde highlights. Okay, let me just. Okay, let me just turn. Let me see what's going on. Who says the Lord? Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. Amen. No, 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 no. No music. No music. None of that. Let me skip all this. Uh what most replayed where does she address the bbl part she got brand deals in here go ahead make your bread i ain't i ain't hating oh, i don't want to watch a 30 minute vlog ah okay wait let me go right here and see what's up oh 100 i haven't slept properly in weeks my body aches two weeks post-op rashes everywhere night sweats lumpy bumpy body you could have left that part out. And guys, the prayer she prayed for me. I'm so grateful to have a praying mother. I wish I can talk to God like she does. My prayers be giving <laughs> Gen Z. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, you could have told me, like, you, you made me come all this way. And I'm just like, this is ridiculous. And, and I'm sure God loves hearing from me the same. But OMG, her prayer blessed me and motivated me to keep pushing through during this recovery season. It's week two and recovery is a lot harder than I thought it would be, even though I make it look good. But yeah, she was also upset about the comment section. I think pissed off is a better word. I can tell reading the comments broke her heart and made her feel extremely sad for me. And even though I talked to her, I hope she knows I'm strong enough to handle it. Like God would not put me where I'm at if I, could not handle it. My head is not easily cracked and nobody can shame me if I know who I am. I said this- No, check it out. Listen, you have the right to do whatever you want to do with your body. Like, you go ahead, do what you want to do. You want to get a BBL, you want to you cut your, you know, you, 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 your thing off, you want to add a thing. I don't, I'm not for it. Well, and I'm against it too. I'm against all of that. But you have the right to do whatever you want to do. I'm just trying to figure out why is it a Christian BBL? Is it specifically just to, you know, irritate the quote unquote religious Christians that you don't want on your channel anymore? Like, I don't, uh, hold on. I'm trying to figure out, I'm gonna watch, I'm just trying to, let me just watch this. Q&A though, and I hope you watched it, but I took my comments on my breakup video to heart and I learned a lesson not to do that again. And you guys are honestly free to comment what you want. I want you guys to know that I take so much pride in you, my fine babes. Like I brag to my friends about how amazing- Okay, wait, I just wanna know why you gotta, I wanna know why you, I wanna know why, Sophie. I wanna know why. Where's the Q&A part? Wait plastic surgeries. I don't want to go through all of this. <laughs> I just want to know why. Okay, wait. Wait. Uh uh BBL recovery nails. Of course. Uh man, I didn't hold on. Let me try to go on Twitter. I just don't want to sit here and watch that. I'm just I'm not trying to do all that right now. Um let me type this in. Christian BB, bro, this is very risky behavior that I'm doing on Twitter. Typing in Christian BBL on Twitter is like very risky behavior. Oh, okay, wait, wait, I think, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me see what this is. Let me see what this is. Let me see what this is. Wait, okay, 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 wait. This is from Twitter. Uh, 
Well, uh, wait, hold on. Okay. No, 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 no. Get me out of here, please. No, 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 no. Get me out of here, please. I just want the video portion of it. I just want this part. Wrong. I get there's people that are like pro natural bodies, like don't do anything to yourself, don't give veneers, don't do this one, don't do that one. I understand. I'm not personally that person. Like, I'm here for anything that makes you look better, feel better, have more confidence, and just enjoy your life. I also get that there were people that look up to me for certain things. I hope there's other things you can find to look up, but if it's that, I should have big back and wide waist. Hold on. <laughs> That's not what I want you to look up to me for. And whatever choices I make in my life, I beg, have your disappointments and make a decision. Do you love me, yes or no? Genuinely? Genuinely, all jokes aside, I can tell that even some of you that were like disappointed, like, why did she have to do this? I hate that she did this. You're still here to support. And honestly, that means a lot to me. I'm being true to myself and that's not easy. So it feels good. It feels good. Get me wrong. But why did you, why is it a Christian BBL, Sophie? That's what I want to know. You're not answering my questions. Hold on. Wait, who is this? I'm so confused. So is it just for clout or what? I'm trying to under... What? Oh my goodness. Okay, let me go back here. Let me... Hold on. I'm going... I don't know if I even want to go on her Instagram. I kind of already know what I'm going to run into. Um... Uh, okay. Let me go back here real quick. Let's see. Who says the Lord? Let me go through the comment section real fast. Let me go through the comment section. Uh, y'all can't timestamp it for me. Oh my goodness gracious. Plans to prosper. It won't change what I've done. I want to genuinely thank and appreciate every single one of you that showed me kindness, love, and sent well wishes because that's what I need the most right now. Whether you liked my choice to do this or not, you were still loving, kind. Even when you saw me being ridiculed in the comments, you didn't join, you just cared that I was okay and safe. I appreciate you so much. That's it, that's all. I don't plan on dragging surgery content, but obviously it's a part of my schedule and routine right now, and recovery is like six months, so. If you don't like that I did this, you better begin to like it though, because it's permanent and I like it. So maybe you don't like me for real. And that's tea between you and the God that you serve. Because this God that was being mentioned in the comments, I'm not sure is the same God that I know. And for godly people, I must say I'm disappointed. It's the ones like you who make people uninterested in getting to know God better. Like, why would someone want to know God when godly people are this judgmental. God loves everyone, even the people you don't like. Even the God people loves with plastic them. Surgery. So if you watch my Q&A, this is exactly what I meant by people projecting their beliefs onto me. I have never presented myself to be holy, perfect example. I've always vouched for the girls that love God and are not accepted by others. Do your homework on me. I beg, time is going. I can clap back all day or I can enjoy my life and continue to make beautiful vlogs for you guys and is giving, I'm choosing option B. The best thing you can do for me eh, is to engage and comment. That way, the bad never outweighs the good. The best thing you can do for me is engage and comment. That way, the bag keeps on rolling in. That's what I thought she was gonna say, but she said something different. But that's the vibe that I'm getting. So you got a BBL, right? Like I said, do whatever you want to do. I thought personally you're a beautiful girl as it is. I don't know what drove you to do this. I don't know what, you know, the, what seed the devil planted in your head that, that pushed you in this direction, that made you think that you had to alter your body for whatever reason. For whatever reason, I don't know what, what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know what type of deception you're now being led into to, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because I still don't really understand why she called it a Christian BBL other than, other than the fact that she was just trying to make her Christian audience mad 
by saying that they were judgmental, by saying that, yes, we all stumble and that we all fall. But like you're, you, you, you chose to make that decision to lie on the operating table and get a BBL and to get surgery. You didn't necessarily have to do that. I don't think God wanted you to do that. I don't think God told you to do that. Because when he made you, he said it was good. He said that you were already good when he made you. He said it was good. I don't think you had to add anything extra in the name of God. Okay. Be my most supportive subscribers that are the most shy with leaving a comment. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Even if you're watching on your TV, go on your phone and give a thumbs up. That way you're sending me that positive energy. You're sending me that love in the most simplest fashion. A little goes a long way. I will say the bad did not outweigh the good. Most of the comments were kind. We are going to the coffee shop right now because I cannot focus in this house. This place is too cozy. I have so much emails, contracts, work that's piled up since my surgery. I'm glad I've finally done my hair, my nails. These are like my favorite nails I've ever done. You can't tell on camera, but they have like a chrome finish, which just makes that French tip pop even more. I love it. It's so holiday. I have to do it again in December. Small, small, I'm getting back to myself. Oh, don't worry, I'll be fast. I won't take time, okay? Don't lick my lip gloss, dude. Don't lick my lip gloss. You know what's crazy? I've always hated tiny dogs. Um, Always hated them. I, I just never thought they served any type of purpose. But then I was sitting in the barber shop, right? And uh, one of the barbers had a little Frenchie. Because if you don't know, I have a dog. She's like 150 pounds. And, uh... You know, this, this little Frenchie ran up on me and like sat on my lap. And I was like, yo, <laughs> I kind of get it now. You know what I'm saying? I kind of get it. I kind of, you know, I still don't like small dogs, but I kind of see why people get small dogs now. Because to me, a dog should serve a purpose to protect you, to, you know, be a, a guardian or of some sort, something to, to herd cattle or something. But just a little small dog that's just going to, you know, run around and pee and poop all, all over your apartment. I just never it was never for me. But um, am I going too hard on her? I just here. I just I just I just can someone tell me why she called it a Christian BBO? I'm just trying to. That's what I'm still trying to figure out without having to watch this whole thing. But hold on. Let me go to this. It says most replayed right here. Let me go right here. Let's see what's going on. No, no, I can't. You can't do that to me. I mean, copyright. Uh -oh. hey. What is going on in this vlog? You guys will live to fulfill your destiny. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm getting stronger every day. Okay. Well, I'll call you later. Um, let me start work before I get weak, and then um, yeah. Okay. No problem. Bye, mommy. Let's start your eat, okay? I have. Thank you. All right, bye. Bye. I told y'all she was pissed off. <laughs> I told y'all y'all pissed her off. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Touchdown. Bro, all this music gonna give me a copyright. And I guess I'm being a hypocrite because I was like, oh, you know, she was saying comment, subscribe for the bag. And now I'm saying copyright because, you know, the copyright, if it gets copyright, then, you know, I don't make no money off it, so ugh. look, at least I'm honest. Um, I don't understand what's going on here. If you want Vix, that's your own. That's your own, that's your own, that's your own. As for me, I'm very happy. I must repeat this, I'm not promoting anybody to go and do this. Some people are acting like I just decided, woke up and decided. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I've been wanting to do this since. I've tried non-invasive methods. It wasn't giving me the thing I was looking for. I have finally got what I wanted and I'm just trying to move on. <laughs> move on. So yes, I'm disturbing Lucky's nap and I'm getting carried away. 
I miss you guys so much, but I have to go. And I can't even give you aesthetics of what I'm doing because I'm going to a corporate office. I don't think they'll take me seriously with my tripod. I'm not showing up as YouTuber. I'm showing up as Sofia Idahosa or Idahosa for the Americans. I have been in this house watching my walk. Hey, God, in my faha. And I'm still in my faha. That's why I'm even looking extra snatched, but I'm ready to like see what is outside again. See what Houston has been up to. I'm gonna take myself out to eat or do something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just happy and I missed y'all. I can't say it enough. I missed y'all. Okay. <laughs> and you know what? I'm low-key gatekeeping my results, but I'm gonna let my YouTube family just go ahead and get a little sneak peek. This is what it's giving at six months. This is, this is our, uh, listen, I don't know this, this woman. I don't know this woman. I don't, I don't want to act like I'm sitting here hating or nothing like that. It's really nothing like that. But I just want to just make a point just, just because it's here. It's on the internet, right? This is what we are, you know, promoting as, you know, Christian influencers. We're, 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 we're promoting, um, we're, we're promoting our, our, our bodies. We're promoting our, our images. We're promoting sex. We're promoting all of the things that are deeply rooted in selfishness and also deeply rooted in insecurity. And I understand feeling like you're not enough and feeling like, you know, you just don't equate to whatever standard that the world has set for you. But that's the beautiful thing about being born again in Christ is that we don't have to live up to the standard of the world because the world is going to pass away. The world doesn't know what good and, and evil is. The world thinks evil is good and good is evil. We just have to be children of God. We just have to be children of the most high. We just have to stay next to him. We have to get our fulfillment and our desire and our purpose from God, not from the world, not from the things that we can acquire or the things that we can do to ourselves to make us feel better or to make us, you know, feel as if we are suddenly enough, right? Like, <sighs> we talking about hips and lips and thighs and all of that stuff as Christian YouTubers, as Christian influencers, when we should be more focused on him. And I know I talk about different things and I try to be entertaining. I try to, you know, be funny and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, like, I'm really not in it for my personal self-promotion. Like I, I told y'all, like, man, it takes a lot for me to get up here and make these videos. I am an introvert. I like to sit and do nothing on the couch and play video games, read my Bible, hang out with my dog and my wife and my kids. I'm not trying to be this self-promoter, but I want to promote Jesus Christ. And that's what we should all strive to put forward. Once again, I'm not trying to be judgmental. I'm simply <laughs> speaking on the observation and the information that has been presented to me through this video. And I don't want no beef with this woman. I don't want no beef with you. Look, I, I, we brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm just trying to tell you, you ain't had to do all that because you was already a beautiful girl. You're still a beautiful girl, but you were you were already a beautiful girl. And everything that you were looking for and seeking through this BBL could have been found in Christ. I'm not trying to take, I'm not saying that Christ, that, you know, God was going to give you a BBL, but I'm saying that he was going to, he's, he's able to give you that comfort. He's able to give you that reassurance that you are enough and that you are, how, will always be enough with him by your side. That's the difference. We have to fully put our faith in God fully and completely to fulfill all of our needs, not just the ones that we think that you know, he can fulfill, but we have to open the door fully so that God can come in and fulfill us completely. And I'm not trying to say that, you know, I've always operated like that in my own life. There's times where I forget that, yo, God wants to fulfill all of my needs. There's times that I forget that and I try to do it by myself. I try to make things happen in my own strength, not understanding that I have access to the most powerful being in this freaking universe. So I asked the question again, why did you call it a Christian BBL? I just want, that's the only thing I just, I just want to know what's up. Six 
weeks and i'm only six weeks so it's gonna continue to get smaller it's gonna continue to get okay i'm not even gonna comment on this insane that's insane <laughs> it's only going to continue to get smaller and look better i'm wearing the skims bra i love this bra guys it just gives the boobs a perfect shape and my faja is tucked underneath but yeah uh let me show y'all something real quick so underneath i have on a whole like waist trainer <sighs> okay this is when i uh this is when i exit the conversation let me see if there's anything else um let me go on TikTok real fast. Let me see if anybody else is talking about this. I would imagine that they are, but I just want to kind of see what their opinion is on it. Christian BBL. I could never in a million years believe that I'm typing in Christian BBL. I cannot even believe that, boy. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Let's talk about it. Um... Okay, wait, I don't know who this is. Let's see. Christian BBL, let's talk about it. One of my favorite YouTubers, Sophiology, has just come out to say that she has gotten a Christian BBL. Girl looked good before. I personally didn't think she needed it, but like if she felt like she needed it, that's fine. Like that's her business. But the problem is that she tied it to her Christianity. When you do that publicly, guess what? Christians are going to attack you publicly. And that is why she's getting all of the hate. You but that's maybe what was, that, that's probably what she wanted though, is what I'm thinking. She probably wanted that because you got to understand, like you don't just, she's probably very good at marketing. She understands that, you know, controversy, uh, controversy, controversy generates clicks, right? And especially if you could tie something to religion, politics, or, you know, anything that is naturally argumentative or naturally there's disagreement involved, you're going to get a lot more rise and reaction out of people. And maybe she knew that, you know? Anything to Christianity, you leave room for Christians to leave their judgeful opinions. And you can't get mad when they come and attack you. But regardless, my girl is a beautiful girl and I wish her as much healing. If she's going through something, I hope she's healing. I hope she's healing physically. Okay. Um, um, when I get it, hold on. But I actually, what the heck? <laughs> what is going on here? Who is this? Who is this guy? Hold on. Let me see what he's talking about. He look like he's talking crazy. Hold on. You a different type of bitch, girl. Oh, okay. Wait. Whoa. 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 All right. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I, I, I haven't necessarily, I didn't find what I was looking for. I, I, I still don't know why she titled it a Christian BBL. I, I don't know, but this is too much. This is too much for me right now. I can't, I can't. This, this is my first day out. I, this, this, you know what I'm saying? This is my first day back after a month and we talk about Christian BBLs. I'm trying to figure out. I'll try to figure out what's going on, man. The devil got y'all spun backwards, upside down, like left and right. Man, I don't know what's going on. Look, get in my comments. Let me know what you think about this video. I'm out, y'all. <laughs>